Grand Rising, my friends. We have so much to get into. We don't have much time to waste. So if you're enjoying what I'm doing here, hey, I'm having fun too. We'll, we'll pick up and get, get better as we go along. Let's start off in China. China says it's closing in on a thorium nuclear reactor. Well, for those who are not quite up on the, uh, the, the different type of nuclear power plants there are in the world, which is probably the vast majority of us, um, you know, you want a, a nuclear power plant that is going to be safe with less um, wasteful uh byproducts and likelihood of an accident and so uh using molten salt uh, nuclear reactors they've um and, and and also a way to avoid you know people uh getting uranium or plutonium and trying to you know create weapons with it uh so these type of nuclear reactors use the same process but without um the the uh, those problems happening well i mean you know rel relatively you could still you know probably have a, a dirty bomb built with some things but you know nowhere near what we do in terms of um, uranium plutonium um and uh thorium also have the advantage of being more abundant and cheaper um you know united states had pioneered the research into these in the early 50s and china was able to uh, jumpstart their research by a lot of the free publications we've had online um, with a lot of the research done into these molten salt um, nuclear reactors. So, you know, we, we, there are some private companies here in the United States that are looking into um, having, uh, making their own, um, some, 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 uh, countries as well as some private sector developers are working to develop them but this is something to keep an eye on in the future because you know we're going to have to have a lot of different um, solutions for the energy problems that occur uh, going forward now this is an interesting story and you know it was kind of odd that this is the first time it's ever happened and it ties into a story we had previously where so the michigan air national guard practicing the takeoff and landings from highways in um, the state of Michigan. And so they found a four lane stretch of, of the state highway and then they had several planes practice landing off, taking off and landing. Here you have an A-10 Warthog <laughs> uh, taking off and landing um, on these highways. Now, why is this important or why do we bring this up? Because question you ask yourself well why would you need to practice taking off and landing on highways and the answer is being i don't know i just um try to avoid any of these other people here saying i'm trying to take their stuff or that let's go here um the it's because you don't plan on having airfields and you know, it's a lot of practicing we're doing against more state level actors like China, or Russia, where we want to be prepared. They knock out our ability to communicate via the satellites and those uh, long distance data links and also our uh, the airfields. So being able to have deployable drones that can fly around and uh, be a communication net while planes are able to take off and land anywhere there's straight <laughs> there's you know a reasonable uh amount of um straight land and, and uh lack of obstacles you know we're, we're getting prepared for anything that could occur out there um and i think we at some point but it's not uh in this one but we'll we'll talk about that Moving on to more, you know, happier news, but some people seem to be upset by it. Uh, SpaceX is going to put a billboard satellite in space that, that plays ads. Now, and, you know, it's a very long, complicated, and, you know, the, the, 
the the company they're working with um geometric energy corporation has this plan of using uh, pixels and coordinates and you buy colors at certain times and uh you got to plot out what your, you know, what your logo would be to to make it more decentralized and they're going to have their native cryptocurrencies which mean cryptocurrencies um for that system specifically which probably has side chains and connections uh or at least trading pairs with other cryptocurrencies because uh, dogecoin and, and ethereum are uh, in, in rumors to uh, be involved in being um able to buy time on there but so i think people think and, and you know hey look my first thought as well that they was gonna put a giant satellite in space where uh, you will see the, the ads from space, but it appears to be they're going to put a satellite in space with a, a display screen and a selfie stick um, placed off of it where they will, um, you will see the image, probably the background of Earth and space, but on a display screen, they'll be playing um, the uh whatever dots are bought in whatever colors and coordinates and, and uh <laughs> packets of time that there are so be interesting to see how it is i don't um i don't quite understand people's uh uh this distaste or almost outright hatred for space exploration i mean it has led to a lot of the um innovations that everyone enjoys um and you know the clearest thing you know is the fact that if we if we don't expand out from this planet we do set ourselves up for just one catastrophic event taking out um our entire civilization so it is smart to be thinking about how that will look for us to be traveling out amongst the stars and the planets or even if our own in our, um in our own solar system Back to Earth and J.P. Morgan. Uh, a couple years back, remember reading all the time where uh, Jamie Dimon, the uh, CEO of uh, J.P. Morgan, it was just just hated Bitcoin to the point where they said they would fire any of their um, associates who were found to be uh, right here. Yeah, called it a fraud, and even threatened to fire any employee who exchanged. Bitcoins. And first off, the word is Bitcoin. The plural is Bitcoin. Anyone who uses the term Bitcoins don't really understand Bit Bitcoin. So if they use Bitcoins, they don't understand Bitcoin. But now, uh, J.P. Morgan is offering Bitcoin, but only to their wealthiest clients, of course, in their private bank, you know, most people don't even know that there's like separate systems in the world, you know, systems, you know, we know, and, and most of us who know about the different separate systems don't even know about the systems that probably don't even are above those systems where you are an investor and you invest and buy stocks, but you can also be an accredited investor where you get, you know, special discounts and deals and offers on stocks before other people even uh, hear about, know about them. There, you can be... Uh, um, here, work, have a bank, or you can, you know, be a client of J.P. Morgan's private bank. Crypto community in shock over Brian Brooks' uh, sudden, actually, fairly very sudden resignation from Binance uh, um, U.S. He's only in there for four months. Uh, it's. So it's like a speculation. I don't know how I feel much about the speculation in one direction or another. You know, everyone jumps to the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Um, you know, some people that's their first, oh, it got to be a problem. Um, but it can be it's just as, as much as, you know, got there and felt like, hey, this is not what I wanted. So... We'll keep a, a close eye on who is uh, selected for that position next. And, you know, there are, there, look, there's no way of, of getting around it. There has been a, a plenty of um, 
um, let's just say, uh, regulatory uh, review around um, uh, Binance as a parent corporation, let alone the uh, uh, subsidiaries. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Decentralized finance. A lot of people always ask, well, what's decentralized? Not that many people ask me, but, some, you know, sometimes the, some people have been asking. I wish more people would ask. Um, basically, decentralized finance is a way of turning what has been, what, you know, what's well, centralized finance. Centralized is if you want to um, um, <clears throat> get a loan, you got to go to the bank. Bank serves as a middleman because the bank has other people money that they use to offer to you so they make the decision yes no hey eh, you know they the boss in that situation right and if you want to lend money to somebody then that's illegal basically on the streets if you just you know you know if you decide you just want to go out and start lending money to people and you know what are you going to do to get it back you'll break some legs it's, you know it becomes a whole uh, difficult issue in that regard as well so decentralized decentralized finance takes out the banks and their middleman grubby money trying to uh, extract in every circumstance maximized for their benefit. And it also takes out you having to uh, deal with uh, people who default on um, their loans and in uh, and basically any kind of um, uh, uh, upkeep in that regard. So, a D. So decentralized finance are protocols. There, there are software contracts that are made on any of the the chains such as Ethereum or Binance or soon to be Cardano um, that can have smart contracts, and so you can loan money to it you put your money in and get a certain um <clears throat> annual per, uh, percentage back a yield back and you can also borrow money from these liquidity pools uh, where you sign a contract you put up some money as collateral and you borrow money uh, or tokens against that and then if you don't pay that back you lose your collateral so the this is how these contracts are set up where you can loan and borrow and and, and some people yield farm where they find places where they um, are able to borrow money um, for cheap and use those tokens to uh, stake and gain interest off of it more so than they uh, have to pay back on the interest. And so by averaging out, they're able to, um, you know, uh, generate money and farm and yield all day. So that's decentralized finance in a nutshell. And one of the biggest ones got hacked you know, Polygon or Matic um, got hacked for a bunch of Binance and Ethereum and a USD dollar coin. Um, yeah. For $611 million as a present day, you know, value of those tokens. So this is a this is a this is a hard one, and we're gonna you know, uh, Binance is involved. They said um, Poly Network uh, obviously has some developers who are involved in trying to um, figure out what happened. But Poly was Poly. A lot of people like Poly. A lot of people like Poly. I like Poly. So this one is. Um, So this one, this one we've got to keep an eye on, man, as well. A lot of things we keep an eye on. We've got to, <laughs> we've got to uh, get the Aya Agamotto or something. Go to steal it from Strange, but I guess in the movies it's more of the Time Stone, but in comic books it was more of, I don't see an Aya Agamotto and that different. But that's here nor there. Um, so... It's a little bit short for today. We're going to leave it at that. Uh, hey, this is crypto. Crypto, I've always said dollar cost average. Look, 
anything I ever give is not financial advice, medical advice, or uh, any advice. And everything I say, go and double check for yourself. You don't believe what I say. Uh, Google any and anything I say and, and look for yourself. Um, but know that I love you. Love yourself. God loves you. And that's all that matters.